welcome to Den of Tools. Howdy ho, guys and gals. It's Red, your friendly neighborhood tool bear, back again here in the old Den of Tools. And today we're doing a check-in. Yeah, because a little over three years ago, I bought a new Tannel cover for my truck. And I did a video on it two years ago. It's the Paragon tr uh, truck cover there, or truck bed cover. It, it's aluminum construction. It's made in the USA. It, in fact, it, it's family owned. They sell direct. You can't go to a store and buy them or anything like that. So they keep the cost down. It's a, honestly, I thought it was a great product. I did a ton of research trying to figure out what the best bang for the buck was. And all, all the signs pointed to this company. So we got it. We installed it. And, you know, I did the one year, uh, you know, check in and everything was going great. Well, it's been three years, a little over three years at this point. So I wanted to check back in with you because we had a bit of an issue. We had something break on it. And I wanted to tell you the story about uh, all of this and what happened and what the, the, the bed cover's been through and whatnot. And it, to say that it's been through a lot would be an understatement. You know, uh, it, it's been on there pretty much nonstop. We've only taken it off for a few occasions where we had to haul something really big uh, in the back. But, uh, you know, 120 degree heat in Vegas just sitting baking in the sun. You know, it's a black aluminum cover, so it absorbs all that heat. <laughs> Don't touch it after it's been in the sun all day. Uh, all the way up, right, you know, up into the mountains, into the freezing cold snow and ice and whatnot, uh, uh, you know, in the mountains here in Montana and whatnot. Uh, and then across the road, we, because, you know, we drive to California, we drive to Montana, we've been to Washington, uh, Oregon. Uh, we've been all over the West in, in our truck here and, the bed cover has been, you know, they're riding along with us and it's been through all sorts of road conditions, weather conditions, everything you could throw at it. And to say that we have not maintained it the best that you could would be <laughs> a major understatement. And as such, this happened. Yeah, this is the lead wheel from the right hand side uh, of the uh, of the, the cover. And the other day, a couple weeks ago, it just just plain snapped off. Uh, I was, I had, I'd opened up the cover to carry some equipment, uh, went to pull the cover closed and pop goes the weasel. <laughs> it, it came right off. And I was more than a little frustrated at that point. Now I thought, well, you know, maybe it's under warranty or something like that. So I checked with the company. I thought, you know, I remember seeing something about a three-year warranty, although I think maybe we're, we were over, I was pretty sure I was over the three-year warranty. And so I went to their product page and sure enough, it's a one-year warranty. It comes with a, a standard one-year limited warranty against defects, materials, and workmanship, blah, blah, blah. But you can you can get a platinum package that extends it to three years. So I'm like, okay, well, I'm out of luck as far as that's concerned. So here's what I'm going to do. Maybe I'll contact them. I'll reach out to them. They seem like a, a great company. I, you know, I've talked to them before on the phone. They seem fabulous. By the way, this is something I bought for myself. Uh, Paragon is not sponsoring this. They didn't send me this. I don't get any kind of funds from them, even referral kind of funds. There's nothing, not affiliate, anything. And, uh, but I, I reached out to them about this, uh, hoping that I could buy the part, you know, if it can't be that expensive. Maybe I can buy the part or at least, you know, the thing is it's, it's riveted on. I'm like, maybe I can buy the whole panel. That shouldn't be too expensive, you know, comparative to the cost of the whole thing. Uh, the the system itself, the base system is eight hundred and twenty nine dollars, so uh, it's got five panels, so maybe a couple hundred bucks or something. Uh, anyway, so I reached out to them, and they asked my, you know, I told them what happened. They're like, okay, okay, can we get your shipping information? I gave them my shipping information. They said, great, we'll have your part out to you in a few days. Uh, don't you need my credit card or something? No, they just they just sent it. No questions asked. They just, they didn't ask when I, I bought it. They didn't ask anything. I told them what part had broken and they just went ahead and shipped it. Wow. That's <laughs> what more can you say about a company? As, again, I'm not affiliated with them in any way. Uh, it, I've had great usage from this, uh, this cover. It's, you know, as I said, it's all aluminum. It's made in the USA. It's factory direct. Uh, has free shipping to the continental U.S., flat rate, $100 shipping to Alaska, Hawaii, and Canada. Um, expert support, I'll uh, I'll say. You get a 100-day uh, free trial with free returns if you don't like it. The, it's a little different than some other uh, uh, bed covers. You know, you've seen like you have the solid one piece that just lifts up, and then you've got the three piece that folds and does that origami thing. 
Uh, this is even more origami than that. It does like a, an accordion style thing where one panel, you know, every other hinge drops down and it slides to the front of the truck. And then you can remove it from the truck entirely. It's fairly easy. It's a little bit of wrestling to get it, get it done. Um, but it does, when it folded up, it does take space in the front of the truck, but most, uh, like the, the roll cover style beds, they have a box there that stays there. Even when the bed, when the, the cover's closed, uh, it still takes up space. So you can't put full size items in there. I put items that go all the way to the back, you know, large boxes and bed frames, all sorts of stuff all the time. And I couldn't do that with a traditional roll top, uh, you know, Tano cover. So, uh, you know, they got other features, key locking. I've got that on mine. It's an option. Fit and compatibility, they talk about, you know, it works with other systems. I've got, uh, the other thing I have are like bull rings on mine, but it doesn't block the bull rings. They have the kind that pop up and down so they get out of the way when you're not using them. Uh, it, anyway, I've never had a problem with this bed cover other than a couple times it came off the rails. You're supposed to adjust it every so often because it shakes on the road and, you know, I probably have not done the maintenance on it that I, I should have. I probably should have also put a little bit more maintenance into, you know, greasing the wheels on this thing, which I'm going to stay on top of in the future to make sure it folds and, and extends smoothly because that's really what it needs. But that said, they did send me the part. Let me show you real quick what it was like to install that. So I pulled the panels off the rails, folded up, laid it in the bed of the truck. There you can see where the part broke off from. It's mounted that little angle bracket there with three rivets. And uh, they're a little tricky to remove. They didn't want to get drilled out. They would just spin in place. And uh, it's kind of hard to get in there. You could use a grinder for this. I just grabbed the first tool I thought would work. I decided to use the, uh, the multi-tool with a bimetal bit and just shave off the heads of it. And it worked just fine. So there we have it. That took care of that in short order. And uh, it did scratch the surface. I know somebody's going to be concerned about that. This isn't a part where you can't see it from the outside. You'd have to crawl up inside the bed cover to see it. On top of that, it, since it's aluminum, there's no concern for rust or anything like that. You could try and paint it to match if you want. Uh, for me, I'm not really concerned about it. Just need it to work, to function correctly. Uh, and then here we got the replacement parts. Now this is this is what's different on the replacement part. Clearly they they know that this is an issue that can happen, uh, and uh, the replacement parts come with uh, bolts with locking uh, nuts on them. So it's obviously the replacement's been designed to be easily in installable by the end user, which is which is great. I'm glad that they thought this whole thing through. Yeah, you can go out and get a rivet gun and whatnot. But it makes it easier. So on, all you need here is, I think it was a 10 millimeter and uh, an Allen key. And, uh, and that's all you have to do to install this. Well, anyway, there you go. There you have it. Paragon, I, I got to say, I still feel they are the best uh, for the buck bed cover that you can get for your truck. I think they look great. They're nice. They're low profile. They're aluminum, which means they won't rust or anything else like that. I've had the kids sit on it. I'm, I'm not going to sit on it or stand on it myself. They're not, you know, they're not made of titanium or anything like that, but they are fairly easy to use. Uh, they're not perfect. There is no perfect truck system out there. Maybe you prefer doing it one way or another. That's, that's great. Good, good for you. But the fact of the matter is, if you're looking for the bang for the buck, you're going to be hard pressed to find a more flexible, complete system than this. I can't recommend them enough. Anyway, uh, if you got any questions, feel free to post them down below. I'll try to check in every year or two again. Keep going, let you know how this thing lasts. But anyway, till next time, you all take care. God bless. And as always, shine on.